Welcome champions of Warframe, it is time for the Incarnate Bronco build. This weapon is like, if you play League of Legends, it's like the Malphite. Boom, and then the Yasu goes, I'm Asaka, you! You know, something like that. This is a very good weapon, and you know if you know. So, let's try, let's, let me show you this weapon, when it can, what, it, what it can do, and then we're gonna I'm gonna show you the build, and then I'm gonna show you the Incarnate Evolution build as well. Uh, let's go, we're using Nidus, so we don't boost the weapon in any way. Let's go. Some headshots to fill the Incarnate form. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 as you can see. And then we gather enemies around, activate the incarnate form. Watch the power, you know if you know. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that. Look at that. This weapon is not an AUE weapon. This is like a chain reaction uh, weapon, all right? Look at that. Look at look, look at the power. I mean, it's a very, 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 very strong weapon. Orange creates all day long. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Now, remember, if you want to use this weapon for real, this weapon, you need to get close to enemies. This weapon doesn't like to keep distance from enemies. It's a weapon that likes to get close to enemy. Think about it like it's a mini shotgun, a baby shotgun that's trying to be some, uh, uh, I don't know, infested uh, Kuvanukur, something like that. All right, let me show you the build. Boom, boom, boom. And here we go. Bronco, baby. So, we're going to be using Prima Target Cracker. Cracker. Galvanized Diffusion, Hemorrhage, of course Hemorrhage, we're gonna use it for the impact, statue effect, have 35% chance to apply slash statue effects, two times when the fire rate is below 2.5, this guy have more fire rate than we want, so we're even with negative fire rate will be better for Hemorrhage, but it is what it is, no problemo, it can still working fine, Galvanized Shot for statue chance, Gripping Bull's Eye for critical chance, pistol pestilence for toxin, frostbite for cold and statue chance, dizzing round of course for shots from less than 8 meters, stun enemies and open them to finisher to 100% statue chance. Now, many Thanos will not be able to get this mod, the dizzing round. So, if you don't if you don't have this mod, all you have to do is remove this mod, put frostbite here and put ornate strike there. Okay? Now, the other thing I would advise you to do is instead of using frostbite, you can use the ice storm this one okay you can use ice storm for magazine capacity which is very important even the magazine capacity is part of uh, part of the evolution and number one advice number one advice is use steady hands this weapon had the weird style and recoil okay you want to use steady hands to take off that recoil so you can actually feel that weapon is playable and doesn't give you headache Okay, so this is the build. If you have a cold driven, you're gonna post it, uh, put it instead of frostbite or ice storm. If you have, let's say, uh, uh, toxic, you're gonna put it instead of pestilence, and so on and so on and so on. If let me know what's your revenue you have in the comments below, so I can help you out on the ribbon. Now, if you don't have Creepy Terrify, of course, you're gonna be using Primate Pistol Gambit or a normal Gambit. If you don't have the Galvanized Diffusion, you're gonna use Barrel Diffusion and so on. Now, if you don't want to use Ornate Strike and you want something else, of course, you're gonna push enemies beyond level 500. You're gonna be using Primate except ex uh, Expel Corpus if you're gonna go against Corpus and so on and so on and so on. Depends on the faction that you're fighting. This called the Faction Mods for Damage Multipliers, okay? You're gonna be using Secondary Mercialize. Secondary Mercialize is gonna be 30% damage for 4 seconds stacks up to 12 times and 30% reload speed okay now moving now to the um incarnon evolution uh build let me take you to cavalero let's go and here we are at Cale cavalero 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 bronco prime so first evolution is of course uh, headshots will charge up the uh, incarnon and then you with the heavy attack uh, button you just activate the uh, alt which is the incarnate form moving to evolution 2 you have two options either increase damage uh, by 16 on 50 energy spent of course you're going to be using energy if you're using a frame increase damage by 9 for 10 seconds stacks up to four times or you're going to be increased speed by th 20 with sprint speed you don't want this one go for the increase damage by 16 and you're going to be using energy and you're going to increase damage for uh, four times for 10 seconds uh, moving next to evolution 3 now evolution 3 is your like you decide which one you want it doesn't matter so much you have either increase magazine by two which is stupid to me i don't know it's in current form it should be like 10 maybe or eight at least now we have the second one which increase accuracy by 30 percent you may find this one comes in handy very good because this weapon the bullet feels so small like a needle hitting it you're gonna find if you find uh, a problem doing headshots with this weapon it's not you it's just the weapon okay Okay, moving next to 50% uh, weapon recoil. We already fixed this one with uh, Exilus mode. It's just perfect. You don't need this one. So either choose from accuracy or magazine capacity by two, which is like uh, emulating the weapon. Moving next to evolution four, you have three options there. Plus two multi-shot, which is very good. Or you have the increased critical chance by 20%, which is perfect. 
or we have the 80% ammo efficiency when six enemies are within six meters, which is very powerful and nice. But of course, the critical chance by 20%, the weapon go from 6% to, to, uh, to uh, let's say 26%. And for the incarnate form, of course, it's going to go even further. Look at that, 24, boom, to 44. Mamma mia, you're gonna be ready, okay? So this weapon is very powerful, right? So if you want to build this weapon, I give it like maybe 7 out of 10, okay? You know if you know. And uh, yeah, enjoy the weapon. It's powerful if you are a beginner and you're trying to get, get touch in the game. And yeah, it's, enjoy. It's cost a lot of forma. So if you really like want to invest this amount of forma for this weapon, go ahead. If not, uh, you can uh, pass the weapon. Big love to you all. We have this code link. The link is on the description. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe. Big love to you all. And see you next time. And who is this guy? Coming in the screen. Big love. See ya.